Hello everybody, it's Tina from Happy Mail, and I'm doing a hashtag thankful challenge that Lala Creation has started. It's 10 questions, and you have to answer them. So here I go. The first question, what's your name? Tina Louise Massey. Second question, the city you live in. I live in Green Bay, Wisconsin. What, third question, what are, what are you most thankful for? My husband. He's my lifesaver besides my children. Fourth. What place do you feel most grateful for and why? I feel most grateful for my great-grandparents' homestead. My brother and I were the only two great-grandchildren that ever lived there in the history that is in that home that they picked river rocks to make the basement, the beams that are the floor were cut down in their forest the woods area around it to make the home that they were very poor people and they afforded to buy this land and for a long time they lived in a what my grandfather said a dugout in a side of a hill my grandpa went in, my great grandfather went in and dug it out and kind of put walls up and him and his wife and the three boys lived there while they built the house so to be able to live in that home that my great grandparents built and the thing is it was just a square building it had a living room, a kitchen, no indoor plumbing and a bed, and the boys slept in the basement that's it but for the longest time I it had a toilet put in, a sewer system put in once my great grandmother got sick but the longest time there was no shower no, the boy, you know, that's the way it was. My 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 grandfather and my uncle in their adult lives added more. A shower. They moved the ba bathroom because in the master bedroom they just put the bath a toilet in the corner and put like a shower around it. I remember that as a child. And when my grandmother that passed away. My grandfather moved back into the homestead and then once my parents divorced we ended up moving in with my grandfather well first thing he did is he redid the bathroom and put a shower in and a nice bathroom so the history behind that building or that home is why I'm most grateful for it because it's where I come from so um, number five yeah, yeah five Pumpkin pie or sweet potato? Neither. I don't like either. I don't like pumpkin. I mean, I'll eat it, but I just don't like it. And sweet potato, uh, I've had it once. And maybe it wasn't done right, but I didn't like it. My pie of choice, I'll just let you know, is pecan. Six. If you could redo one thing, what would it be? I would go back to high school and finish high school. Why? Because I quit. I was um, 18 and that like I don't need an education. Well, guess what? I wish I would have did it. That's why. Seven. Favorite dish you would like to cook around the holidays? I do not have a favorite dish I cook around the holidays. I just cook. I um, mean, this is how we do in our family. Everybody brings a dish to pass. Diamond House Thanksgiving. I host Christmas, so. Christmas is, I usually make the brown sugar beer ham and uh, garlic mashed potatoes, squash. I usually don't make it squash. For some reason, the kids love my squash. So if you count that as a dish, I guess squash. Because I end up making it for Thanksgiving as well as Christmas because the kids love it. But I don't have a favorite. Uh, let's see. Number eight, what product do you use on a daily basis that you most appreciate? I have a lot of products I use on a daily basis, but I would have to say my Martha Stewart's little tiny scissors. I just love these. My husband sharpens things, so I bet you, every other week for me. Wait. Oh, I think I skipped them. Okay. Okay, no I didn't. This is number nine. What thing what thing are that you're most grateful for in twenty sixteen? 
that my family is healthy, that I, that uh, my kids haven't been real sick, or anybody that I know has been real sick. Two years, my dad was sick last year, and I mean, sick, I shouldn't say sick. A year ago, April, he got hit by a tractor, so I spent all summer dealing with that. And so far, health-wise, everything's going good. Nobody, so that's what I'm going to for. If you could do any of one thing, what would it be in line? I'd volunteer more in my community. I don't do, I used to do more of it when the kids were young. I don't do it as much now. A lot has to do with my sight and transportation. <laughs> I used to live six and a half blocks from the Salvation Army. I don't anymore, so that contributes to why I don't, because I'd always go and volunteer at the Salvation Army. But that's my ten answers, or my ten questions, my ten answers. I will leave all the information for the hashtag, I'm going to say this right, I'm going to read my notes, hashtag thank you challenge tag, hashtag thank you challenge tag, in the description box below. Go over and check out La La Creation 12's channel. She's a wonderful person. She does the DIYs. I don't know how she thinks of this stuff. And I'm in awe every time I watch her. So go check her channel out. I will have this video of hers linked in the bottom of the description. So go over and check it out. Sub to her channel. And join in this hashtag challenge. With this said, I'm going to close. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the week. Eh, weekend and a great week everybody. Bye.